Hey, welcome back to a little later. Um, I got my 040 back from Mr. Andrews from Amiga of Rochester. Many videos ago, probably, I mentioned that I was going to ship him out two 6840 boards. And they're, they were broken. C102B leaks, eats internally to the layer, and she's toast. So, he said he has boards, these... And he can transplant the parts, and him and Paul have done this, and it works. So I said, look, I got a bunch of these that are broke. I'm going to ship you two. You ship me one back, and you keep the other one, and fix it and sell it as like a payment. And if not, keep it for yourself. That's cool, too. So it took a while, because he's busy. And uh, there it is. So this is a 3.2.2. Two. Three, well, I'm sorry. 3.3.2 revision. You can see it right down there at the bottom near my finger or the other side. And uh, brand new, same parts. And I've tested it and it works. Why is this 3000 on your desk? Weren't you just testing the uh, other whatever TF 4060 with this? Yep. Why is it in on your desk? Well, I thought about getting the Mercury running. The old Mercury, 68040 for the Amiga, 3000. So I figured, you know what, I'm going to put the, the Mercury in here. I'm going to finally sort this thing out. And it messed up again. Yellow lighting and screens and rebooting and it would work and then it would fail and then it wouldn't kick into 030. And my, my onboard CPU was so hot, you could have lit a cigar off of that thing all these random bits and problems so I took it out and I'm like okay we're going back to stock now remember this previously had the BFG 9060 where I removed the MMU libraries and got it stable with the onboard SCSI the TF4060 was fine with it um, setting the correct jumpers so I figured okay I'm gonna just be stock 030 the machine wouldn't start. It kept yellow lighting and it would work and I would bump this and it would sometimes work and I would jiggle the RAM and sometimes it would boot. And it kept, just give me Amiga problems. You know, the, the Amiga problems that are like night and day. And I figured, you know what, it's been a long day. Today's Friday, it's reboot day. That's why I look like I just got the crap kicked out of me. Because that's how I feel. Uh, I was conversing with a few people. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take this out. Just take out the board and just set it on the desk. Use my new Mr. Simon Gosk power supply and see what's going on. Same thing. So I took it all apart and tried this and the BFG and my other BFG and the Mercury, the Stock 030. I couldn't get it to do nothing. So I gave up. Like, Heck with it. So I worked all day. When the card came back from Thomas, I tried that, and I couldn't get it working. I found out, thanks to Mr. Chris Hooper, you're out there, this guy, Hooper's Hooch, the, the joke that I make on the 99 IPA, just love that. He sent me this bottle on 99 IPA, so hence Hooper's Hooch, if you're wondering what this is. Mr. Chris Hooper, Stefan Renault, who made the uh, Re-4091. I got one in purple, number five, love it. Anyway... Dory, get on the story. I ran the zip test. Aminet, search for zip test. It's a command line utility that looks at every single zip 20 here on the board. And it told me that U878 was bad. Like U878 is bad. So I grabbed the old dental tweezers and uh, popped her out. Replaced her with another one. And everything worked fine. Now why would a zip 20 totally yellow screen the Amiga. That's why I was having 12 megs of RAM earlier. Remember? 12 megs of RAM. One chip out of a bank of four was failed. Anywho's, check this out. 68040 from Mr. Thomas on the transplant. And you can see the, the Hertel light here is uh, blinking away. Now this is 3.2.2.1 and it just works. And it works great. Everything's cool. The um, until it's peppy. 
uh, which Amiga? It would be like 24.8 or whatever. Yeah. So which Amiga says 60 to 40, 24.8, blah, 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 your mom. And uh, we're working. Now, I was like, okay, that's wonderful. Let's take this out. I'm not effing with the Mercury. Something's wrong with that thing. I even got the book, the jumpers. It was a mess. So I'm going to set this back to internal here. Turn the FPU back on. Oh my god, my fingers. Got dill pickles. FPU on. And then quad clock internal. Now this should be stock 030. Now this was yellow screening on me. This should go low high. I'm going to bend this down a little bit so you can see it. Maybe, hopefully. And energize. Low high. And now it works. What was happening? It was going blink, 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 blink. And the CPU was getting like death hot. And I was jiggling this. I replaced this. I went in and flicked all the pins on the riser. I was even contemplating putting new risers in. There's nothing wrong with this Amiga. There you go. 030. You know, but it, it still plops along really nice. Which Amiga again, 25 megahertz. 68030, okay, 882, 24.8, I don't know where the other point two went, it's just, that's, that's what it is, so it was one chip, U878, and this has a super expensive, uh, ain't old logic, there you can see it's sticker, Super Buster 11, because, uh, finger on the camera, BFG and I was doing re 4091s and all that so I you gotta have that or put back together a little better and I'll, we'll do a test and I'm not gonna put any screws in it because if I do that means it's gonna fail so I'll leave the screws out just toss it together in the case see what happens just like that a few minutes later it's working does it work I don't know low high hard drivey hard driving 030 as it was before I touched it before this before this, before this, and definitely before this. So that's that. This is just this is it. That's going to be it. So we're recovered from all the accelerator tests, and I only popped out one card slot on the bottom, putting it back in so I didn't bump it. I'll put that back in. So, you may have recognized this Amiga. This is the one from Mr. Joe with the trucking program that we got working with a replacement power supply. And that's why it died so many years ago. And now it lives on again and it will continue to as long as I'm around. It is not repainted, it's just a Survivor series. Everything works. I clean the floppy, it's picky. There's the PPIO 40 stuff, and it is what it is. Uh, it needs to be cleaned a little more because I've been touching all over it like a hot girlfriend. And uh, yeah, so this Amiga is back to the way it was before I touched it. And we did a nice review of that accelerator, the terrible fire. 4060 and that is one incredible card so if you're interested in getting one of those i'll pop some links in the description below and that's all i got for now thanks for watching and as always hope you learned something Funny, you bastard.